Uh, why SendGrid? Because building your own email deliverability platform sucks. If anybody's had to go through the pain and the hassle, uh, we actually build out a scalable architecture where you can just send us your email and we'll get it delivered to the inbox for you. It lets you focus on your business instead. And uh, we've got all kinds of neat real-time analytics, and we also give you a free developer account. You can send 200 emails a day. I'm not here to pitch the, uh, the company too much, but uh, Foursquare, Pinterest, HitSend, Uber, TaskRabbit, all these guys use us. We've also got some Python-friendly partners. If you guys want to deploy to like Heroku and so on, they, uh, they use Python out of the box. So some of the services and APIs that we offer, obviously we let you send email over SMTP. We've also got APIs um, for newsletter. You can manage your account. You can uh, give us a webhook for parsing incoming emails, and we just send the body of that email back to you over a post URL. Same with our event notification, which I'll talk about more in just a second. So installing our email API is pretty simple. It's just an easy install send grid, or you can clone out our GitHub repo and install it yourself uh, if you're using virtual env. Implementing it's five lines of code. You do an import, you build an authentication object, uh, all right. And then you connect your Wi-Fi. And then you build a message object where you give uh, the from address a subject, a plain text, and HTML body. You add a recipient or group of recipients, and then uh, you send the message. Right now, this example is showing using the SMTP library. Um, if you wanted to use the web API instead, you would change out the SMTP at this point to just say .web instead. So I want to do a live demo a little bit. I found... Uh, a pretty crazy little uh, photo booth app. Uh, it was originally written to promote how Opera can uh, interface with a user's webcam uh, through a web browser. I ported it from that language to Python, built it as a Django project. I won't tell you what language it was in, but its initials spell PHP. And uh, anyway, right now it just stores the image on disk, but we want to be able to email those photos to ourselves. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is. First, I'm going to give you a demo. Let me shrink this down. Give Chrome access to my webcam. Go away. There we go. All right. Here I am. And say cheese. Takes a bunch of pictures. We hit share. And I'm going to email it to myself. Provided wireless works, we'll see how long uh, Gmail takes to actually send, if it goes at all. So while we're waiting for that, uh, we've also got a great analytics uh, setup. We give you almost real-time analytics uh, on a really rich um, interactive stats display. And we also have what we call our event notification. And this is something I mentioned previous in the talk, where you give us a, a web endpoint, and we're going to post a block of JSON to you that let you know in real time, within about five seconds, when we process your message, when we deliver it, whether it gets dropped or bounced, and so on. Or if it does get delivered, when a user opens it, when they click any links in there, if they unsubscribe from it or mark it as spam, uh, we let you know right away. And then I'll check Gmail in just a sec and see if uh, those photos went through. I'm going to do a Tim Hortons challenge for the rest of the weekend. If you guys can integrate SendGrid in less time than my lightning talk, I'm confident you can. I've got uh, a bunch of $5 Tim Hortons uh, gift cards I'll give away. So just email me or ping me on uh, Twitter. I've also got uh, t-shirts. If you currently use SendGrid, I've got some t-shirts to give away. I've got stickers as well. Uh, just find me. And if you're interested in signing up for a paid account, I've got a coupon code for 50% off. And you can just hit hack.sendgrid.com. And let's see, no new email. Oh, all right. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Anyway, it would have been really cool. It would have shown you a little photo strip that it took. Um, but that's it for SendGrid. If you guys, yeah, have it tried again? OK. So while we're waiting, I'll just explain.